All right, speaking of Mark, he loves his, his news hounds. Oh, yeah. If you swear your dog looks at a TV screen and maybe even reacts to certain programs, mm -hmm. you're not wrong. A new study out of the UW School of Veterinary Medicine is looking at what dogs actually like to watch. And how we can use that to better understand how they see. Arman Rahman tunes in. We can talk all the time about how much TV is dead and moving towards streaming, but what about the preferences of our four-legged friends? Actually, you know what? She likes basketball. I think it might be like the squeaking on the floor or something gets her attention. I don't know, but she, she likes the Badgers. That might be true for Mabel, but Professor Freya Moffitt knows the science on what makes paws tune in. Dogs like to watch dogs. Humans don't rank very high for dogs. Moffitt studied what made different types of dogs bark, run to or from the TV, and other reactions. She can't recognize any animals. It might seem silly, but it's part of her larger research. I'm really interested in dog vision and how dogs see as they age, how that changes. And so the first step in this is to design a way of testing vision that would be engaging to dogs and interesting to dogs. Moffitt says it's a long way before developing something for vet clinics, but it shows that vision tests for dogs need movement and sound for one to five minutes. It's long enough that there must be some visual engagement. It's not purely that the dog knows a specific bark. Moffat loved the responses she got, like one dog who watched the whole Lion King movie. Uh, actually cried consistently at the point where, you know, Simba's father dies. I don't know what we could do to convince more dogs to watch the news. Maybe some of you good boys and girls out there can just throw us a bone. In Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now.